like been uh, quite a roller coaster week for you. Just walk us through, you know, how this all came together, when exactly you got the call, and you know how immediately you said yes. So, uh, I was scheduled to fight on UFC Copenhagen. Um, a few things came up due to my opponent and myself, so I was offered a replacement. I couldn't take it. Uh, even training in, in the meantime, I tried to stay up and and try to take that fight, but I just couldn't. So now here we are, a few weeks later. Um, Luck happened, I guess. I'm still in shape. I'm still decent enough to fight. I feel great, actually. And uh, a 155 opportunity came up, so I might as well take it. You know, what are the like things you go over with like your team or your coaches or whatever when you are like preparing to accept a fight like this on such short notice? What's like the immediate priority? They they all call me. Every single one of them. They call me. They ask me how I feel. They ask me if it's something I want to do. It's not. I'm not pressured into it. I'm not. They're not like, hey, take this fight now. It's just I. Look at the person, look who it is, see if it's a good matchup for me, um, something like that, and go from there. I'm sure all the answers were yes. All the answers were yes yeah. for me. Yeah. I was ready to fight for Copenhagen. I'm, I just want to get back in the cage. Sure. Uh, what do you make of the matchup itself? Like, what would you kind of, what's your scouting report here? Uh, grappler, maybe. I'm going to say he's a grappler. Uh, but he likes to strike, which is exactly me. I'm, I'm, I would 100% say I'm a wrestler, a grappler. But I will strike 100. percent I won't even try to take it down. So it'll be an exciting fight. Have you gotten enough time to, to study him, or is that something you like leave up to your coaches? It's kind of something I leave up to them. I like to fight, so I just show up and I do what my body naturally does. I've gotten this far doing just that, and I'm gonna keep doing it. This is a short notice fight, obviously. So how's the weight? Is that an issue? That's oh no, I'm 161. Okay. Yeah, I'm not heavy at all. I got the call. It's probably 165. I don't and get heavy. Yeah, you're, you're from Orlando, right? You're yeah. From Orlando. Oh, right now, I switched down to American Top Team Coconut Creek, so I'm down with uh, Joanna and them. Yeah, so Tampa, I mean, you know, yeah. four hour drive. Exactly. Florida. And my mom just moved to Florida. She lives in DeLand, and that's and to be able to come to my first, well, my second big fight is, is exciting for her. Do you want to be known as one of those guys for the UFC that they can like, call you up anytime? Like, oh, four yeah. Days, four weeks or whatever? I want to be a Donald Cerrone. You call me, I'm going to fight. It's, I'm good. I'm good. I'm ready to go. In, in any ways, do you kind of prefer that in a way because you don't have to dwell and think no. about the fight? You just show up and, you know, in a few days? Before. I would personally like to have a camp just so I can work on the things that my coaches want me to work on and, and some of my negative, uh, my negative things. But if I can just jump right into a fight and know that I'm good enough and my skills are there, I'm, I'm going to take it. Are you looking at this fight in any way as, like, redemption after your UFC debut didn't go to that? No. You see it as that? Not at all. I just think um, I, I know Thomas. I met him at Fort Lauderdale. We fought in the same card. Our debuts together, and he's a good, a great guy. So I think this will be like a like a friendship kind of brawl, and then we we'll go have a beer after or something. I don't know. <laughs> and uh, you made uh, your pro debut on the same card with him. Yes, on the Fort Lauderdale, April twenty seventh. Yeah, so you guys go go way back. Yeah, a little bit. Is it is it kind of uh, I don't know? Does it put things into perspective? Like you know, you started your MMA career and you know him, and here you are in the UFC and fighting him again. No, no, it's just what has to be done. There's some people that I won't fight just because I know them that well. But other than that, no, I'll fight anybody. Of course, you never want to lose a fight or anything. But when you reflect on your two defeats and what the, those guys are doing and the success they're having, does that make you you know look at those outcomes differently and maybe look at yourself differently? The only defeat in mind that changed me, the way I had to fight, was the fight against Sadiq uh, Yusuf. Because he came with a game plan, I didn't have a game plan. Like I said, I just show up and fight. I do whatever I have to do to try to win, and that's how it came out. Um, with that fight, I made a lot of changes. I made a lot of, I thought a lot. I made some moves. The Gilbert fight, I didn't really think of. He's a top 10 and four day notice as well. So that was, I was like, let me do my thing. Right. Let's see what happens. So I wasn't too worried about that one. But the first one definitely changed my game a lot. Yeah, I mean, regardless of how this goes, do you think for the next one you want that, that full camp? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, let's do a full camp. 145, too, next one. I don't, I'm not heavy. Like I said, 165, a normal cut into 45 is 20, 20 pounds. It's easy.